Hey there guys, so I get that a lot of you might want to change your virtual location using a VPN and that's basically because a lot of age restriction laws and age verification laws and digital ID laws are coming out and whatnot and so a lot of people are opting for VPNs in order to avoid handing over their ID just to let's say access some kind of subreddit or whatever website that the government deems as inappropriate using children as an excuse really to get everybody ID'd over the internet meaning you know, whenever you send a message or make a comment or whatever it is, it'll be linked back to your ID. So that's bad news. I, I understand why most people just want to use a VPN and change their location and not have to deal with any of that. So the way this works now, I'm going to demonstrate using Express because that's what I personally like to use on a day to day basis. It's very quick. Uh, it's light on my device. Again, I'll leave links in the description in case you're interested in any of the VPNs I mentioned. But essentially how it works is let's say you're in the States. OK, and let's just connect back to this location, actually, because I'm not in the States at the moment, but I want to simulate as if I'm in the States. So if I, for example, one of the reasons why you might want to use a VPN is to access streaming services. And this is one of the most common uses for a VPN. Let's say this is Friends right here. I'm trying to look up Friends, the sitcom. It's unfortunately not available in the United States. Funny enough, it's an American show that's not available in the States. So what I would do is either ask GPT or go to unogs.com, look up your show. I'm just going to look up Friends here and you'll see that it is available in six countries, but definitely not the United States. So it is available in the UK instead. OK, so let me go ahead and just switch to a UK server, United Kingdom. And once I'm connected, I'm just going to double check on this IP finder here that I'm indeed in the UK now. So here it is. I'm in England and then I'm going to go back to Netflix. I'm going to give it a refresh and you'll notice that now friends shows up as if I'm in the UK myself. So this is one of the reasons why you might want to change your location. Now, another very big reason is access to websites. So again, if you're in a country such as the UK, which is what we're simulating right now, by the way, if you take a look at the URL here, this is UK beer. So it has nothing to do with any mature content. And if you're in the UK and you're trying to access the subreddit, you click verify, it'll take you to this portal, which is basically going to ask for your ID or selfies so that they can identify you and make sure that you are over the age. And this is Persona, which is the company that is collecting information on behalf of the UK government. Of course, if you don't want to deal with that and you don't want to hand over your ID and you just want to access your, you know, UK beer subreddit here, all you have to do is just make sure that you're connected to another country where no such laws have taken place, at least not yet. So I'm just going to connect to any place here in the States. I'll just go with LA and I'll go ahead and connect. And again, I'm going to wait until it's connected and you don't have to double check every time, but I'm just showing it so that it's demonstrated as well as possible. And now that we're in LA, California, I'm just going to go ahead and refresh and that will go away, that little prompt. And as you can tell, now I have access to it without having to give my ID away. OK, so hopefully that kind of demonstrates, you know, a couple of reasons why you might want to change your location and how to change your location and how to verify that you've changed your location. Indeed. Now, as far as which VPN to choose, look, I personally use Express because it's incredibly light on my device. There are no graphics. There's nothing going on with the application. It just runs incredibly quickly and it's also very reliable and consistent. So if that's something that you're interested in, basically a VPN that is just a VPN and gets the job done as reliably and as consistently as possible, go with Express. I don't want to make this video too long, right? If you're looking for more features, go with Nord. If you're looking for the cheapest option, you'll be sacrificing just a tiny bit of speed with Surfshark. But hey, you can secure up to an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription. So that is very nice if you want to share it with friends and family. Unlike NordVPN's 10 device limit in ExpressVPN, it goes from 10 to 14 devices. So it depends on which plan you go with. 
So that's basically it. And again, I've shown you how to change your location with Express, and it's basically the same with NordVPN. You're just gonna take a look at the server list or look up whatever list. It's very straightforward, as you can tell. Once you're connected, just verify it through any IP address checker and you're good to go. And that'll be it. If you do have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And if you want to get your hands on any of these VPNs, I'll be sure to leave the links, as I mentioned in the beginning, in the description down below. And that'll include discounts that'll save you even more money than having to go directly to the VPN's website without clicking on a discount link. So feel free to, again, take advantage of that. I'll leave full reviews to all these VPNs as well. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about them, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.